Hey guys, I will show you how to fix this problem on Windows system. In the first step, we need to go to search bar, type your services, and from the search results, click here to open it. Once we are here, we need to find out the Windows update. Just scroll down, and here you will get it. Simply right click on it, select properties. We need to set startup type as automatic, then click on apply, and then OK. You can click on restart the service once done we need to close the window again simply right click on uh, the taskbar and select task manager you can also open it from here you just go to search bar and type your task manager and click here to open it once we are here we need to click on run new task then go to browse button now select this PC open C drive now we need to open Windows folder then find out system32 folder open it in the system32 folder we need to find out cmd.exe file here it is just select it and click on open now check this box create this task with administrative privileges and click on ok once we are here we need to close the background window and focus on the command prompt window so this step is very important type the command gp update and hit enter so this pro process will take a few seconds to complete the and exe execute the command so once done we need to simply type exit and close the command prompt window in the last method open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open windows folder then we need to find out software distribution folder here it is open it and we need to select all these files and simply delete them all click on continue so once done close the window and simply restart your system and your problem will be solved for sure you can also check out our description link to fix this issue quickly and effectively. And yeah, don't forget to like the video. Please do subscribe the channel.